another day, man. I don't know. I'm still, I just feel like my glasses are tinted blue. I just feel a little sad. Like there's a couple things missing in my life, but that ain't nothing new. So pretty much an average day over here. Full of work equipment. I hate this. I was supposed to drop all this stuff off last night, I thought. And then my boss was like, oh no, that's something totally separate. I'll pick that up from you in a week. I'm like, I have to drive around with all this shit for a week? Ah, but nothing matters, so it's all good. You know? Fuck. You make me feel so God, I think I'm about to give you a brief synopsis of my emotional history. Okay, so as a kid, I got taken into therapy for the first time because I was saying that I had no feelings. We found out that it was because I feel everything so deeply that I couldn't deal with it. So I just denied the fact that I have feelings. Obviously we all have feelings. <sighs> Cut to the last couple years. Um, I've been feeling all of the shit that has happened to my family so deeply that I couldn't deal with it. I could only deal with the tip of the iceberg and even that was um, debilitating. So now that I'm doing this neurofeedback, um, I'm finally feeling safe enough and stable enough to start really processing and dealing with all of the emotions that I have shoved away into different compartments for the last several years. So now it's all coming back out but it's good this is all positive work but it's like i'm still fucking dealing with shit man you know we all have our stuff but i'm just like god i really want to be back in a happy place in a in a good place gotta just put in a little more work to get there so thankfully i'm not really crying about it right now it was earlier i'm gonna be okay whatever continue on with this day. Oh man, it's like some old school therapy right there. I just uh, chatted with my facialist for the last half hour and it was really nice. Um, I feel a lot better because she totally understood where I was coming from even though there's a little bit of a language barrier and I would never expect this woman to like understand Ms. Jago. She totally did, and it felt really nice. Nothing feels worse than being misunderstood. And nothing feels more satisfying than being understood, especially when it's unexpected. All right, time to go home. Yeah, the other day I got a facial with some other lady, and she kept telling me all this shit that was the opposite of what I was trying to get across. You know, I'd say something, she's like, yeah, no, but this. And I was like, she's basically not understanding me at all and pushing her ideas, which I also totally get. It's totally understandable, but like that felt really shitty. And I walked out of that experience feeling so much worse rather than so much better like I do right now. Welcome to this segment of Toilet Talk. It's just a thing I do sometimes. So now we're gonna give it a name. It's called Toilet Talk, and it's when I escape from whatever I'm doing to tell you about what's happening. So I was supposed to go to a show tonight that I was really excited about seeing um, with a classmate of mine from the new comedy class that I'm taking. And when he showed up to pick me up to go to the show, he also told me that he hadn't gotten tickets and that it was sold out, which is not what we talked about. Anyways, now I'm going to some other comedy show and this guy is definitely under the impression that it's a date and that was not ever the goal for me, but he's nice and it's fine because I'm just going to be true to myself. So ain't no big deal, but also not what I expected tonight. And I will let you know how it goes. Okay, so now I'm in line to go see a midnight screening of Friday the 13th, because guess what? It's Friday the 13th! Okay. 
you know, I do like celebrating holidays, so this kind of makes sense for me. I'm just like surprised, you know. It's good. The struggle of finding a seat. Good luck, folks. Well, that was fun. I felt like I really, let me pause my episode of Will and Grace. I feel like I really uh, connected with my classmate. And I say that because not like we had a connection, but like I could be myself and I felt like he understood me and uh, it was really cool. Anyways, I'm going to bed. I have an audition tomorrow. So I gotta get some beauty rest. Okay. <laughs> Ugh, good night. You make me feel so